Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade 730 and if you noticed, everyone is above, or not even near, a multiple of five. We're not going to get any XP for this fight, but we are going to get some MP, so let's get ready for the hunt! And now this side quest you kind of want to do early because you definitely want to get the spell that um, this kind of side quest rewards you with. Now we're going to be just flying around for a little bit. It's going to look like we're doing what we're doing is kind of pointless flying, but no, we're looking for a certain icon on the screen. Now in the SNES and the PlayStation versions of the game, this icon didn't show up. You just had to blindly fly into it, which was rather difficult and disheartening because you could fly around for a long time and just never hit it. It's just a random point on the screen. On the map, that would actually activate this. But in this for in the in the pixel remaster, they actually have an icon which makes it immensely easier. What we're looking for is kind of like a large purple glowing ball of energy. We see that we've got to where we be. Let's see. No, uh, no one around here. What the heck's going on here? I mean, once you see it, you'll notice it. Now, I have noticed that it does have a, um, it does tend to show up right there in the, um, ocean next to where the Coliseum is, in that little area, but sometimes, like I said, it's pretty random, so we're just gonna look for it and see if we can find it. Now, this quest does consume a lot of time, but believe you me, the rewards for it are highly worth it. Highly worth it. <clears throat> Come on now. But make sure you have at least one character with the, that's a big damage de dealer. That's why I have Saban right now. Saban and Edgar. They're going to be my main sources of damage for this enemy. And also, as I said earlier, make sure you're not a level that's a multiple of five. Come on now, where are you at? Where are you at? <clears throat> yeah, this is one part that's re that gets really, really annoying. I mean, I understand why they did this. They I mean, having to actually show. There it is, right there. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Say a big purple ball of energy. Yep, run into it. And it's boss battle time against Death Gaze. See, that's why. Starts off with level 5 death. Really annoying. Hits kind of hard, but um, let's see, we're going to hit him as hard as we can. He will also use, I think, death magic. I think he's weak to fire, if I'm not mistaken. But I know holy damage is pretty good damage to him. Yeah, Cyan's not going to be really doing too much. I may actually put him on um, his first ability. Because I actually pierce the defense. Might actually give it more. Yeah, that's, just, that's the other part that really sucks. He does like to use arrow, and it does a crap ton of damage. Oh, I forgot. Saban's got the thunder shield. Yeah, that's not good. That's not going on. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the other annoying part, part of fighting Death Gaze. Yep, he'll do his damage. And when he feels like it, he's just going to haul butt. So unfortunately, we have to go find him yet again. But we can heal up. The only good thing about fighting Death Gaze is whatever damage you do to him accumulates. So, yeah. So say you did right there. I did about, give or take about 9,000, or uh, maybe like 10,000 damage. Yeah, all that is going to accumulate. So yeah, it's really nice. Uh, let's see. I do want to get that ice shield off of him. I don't think I have anything that's better. Yeah, I just rather put that on him. Mainly so that the next time I fight him and he uses Aerial, he doesn't murder him. Kind of needs saving around. He's my main source of damage against Death Case. Unfortunately, yep, yeah, now we gotta go fire and fight this thing. Uh, find this thing again. <clears throat> uh, flying across the planet, trying to find Death Case. Yeah, now imagine trying to do this and not having that icon and not knowing it was right there. You'd have to blindly fly into it, which is really crazy. Oh. Yeah. Not one of my favorite quests in the original versions of this game, but as I said earlier, you definitely want to do it. What's bad is when it's, it is whenever you, if you didn't know that Death Gaze was a thing, 
You could just be flying around trying to get from point A to point B in the game, and all of a sudden, boom, here's Death Gaze, and if everybody's level 5, you're all dead! And you'd have never known anything the better. That's right. <laughs> Believe me, it happened to me the first time I played this game. I was like, oh, what is that? Oh, gosh, what is that? Why am I fighting in the air? And I was like... I think like three or four, three or four of my party members were like level five. I got annihilated. I was like, "Well, that's a thing." <laughs> also, I want to wish a very, very, very happy birthday to one of my favorite video games of all time, Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, on this date, it was released in Japan in its original release. So, happy birthday to Zidane and the rest of the crew on in Final Fantasy IX. Definitely will be let's play in that game in the future. One of my favorites in the series. All right, let's head over here. Where is? Do it. Where are you, Death Gaze? Are you afraid? Did I beat you too hard? Did you run away like a scolded dog? I don't know. Also, I want to say that in between um, this uh, this episode and Mondays, um, I'm going to be doing a fair amount of Colosseum and actual grinding. Because I need to get as much fire protection as I can for a certain area of the game I'm going to be um, going after next, if you know what I mean, viewers. Also, I want to get Gal up, because I mean, he was only like level 17. He needs a lot of levels quick. So, probably just going to uh, put him with Zone Seek, put an XP egg on him, and just turn up the boost in the game up to level 4. Just so I can get him up there as quickly as possible. Because I'm going to need all my party members for that area. So... Let's see now. Um, I'll tr also, I'll try to put um, in the description of Monday's episode, I'll try and make a description of all the things I bet and how I got my set equipment in the Coliseum. Um, I'll try and remember to. Um, I may or may not, so if I don't, I apologize beforehand because, you know, I'm getting kind of old and my memory is kind of fading. Come on now, Death Gaze. Where the heck are you? Did I mention this was worth, worth it? It's definitely worth it. It's annoying, but it's worth it. <clears throat> Come on, Death Gaze, where are you? This is why I like trying to get Death Gaze in one fight, but eh, it's rather difficult. Original, he was named Doom Gaze. And actually, I think became kind of like a staple after this. Um, I think he was in seven. He might have been seven. I'm pretty sure he was. Well. I don't know if he was in 8, because I think, I don't know if he turned into Diabolos or not. I don't know if that was a separate entity or not. It might have been a separate entity. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can crack my knuckles with more entertainment than this. I think we're going to land for just a second. Uh, yeah. Let's land real quick and see if I can reset this. Yeah, this is starting to. Oh, wait! God dang it, I missed it! There it was! It's right there. There's also some rages I'm gonna have to. Oh. Um, I don't have. You don't have to get these rages, but I find that they're the better rages for Gal. And like I said, I'm gonna try and remember and list all this crap later. I can't believe I missed that. Okay, where are you at? Okay. I remember I saw him earlier. That's another thing. If you're not really paying attention, you can just skip right by him and not notice it. I mean, it's... Come on now, where are you at? Go back to where I found him. Oh, boy. I apologize for this episode. I know it's not the most entertaining being that we're just flying blindly around trying to find death keys, but yeah, I did want to show off the fight and actually more or less what you're going to get after the fight. I was hoping it actually they'd actually have an icon for it, but well, sadly enough, nothing on the actual map itself. That would make it I think it make it a little too easy. Let's land. Okay. And lift off. Maybe that'll reset it. So I was just hoping, like I said, if any, I'll have to look up and see if there's anything you could do to kind of like auto find this guy. Because like I said, he can be really, really, just really a butt to find. He touched the butt. 
Uh, yeah, I watched that movie way too many times now that I'm a parent. Yep. That's something you learn. Boys, girls, children of all ages, and everything in between. When you become a parent, you watch a lot of stuff that you really don't like. And you rarely have an opportunity to watch the stuff you do like. So be prepared for that. <laughs> oh, da, 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 where is Doom Gaze now? Oh, hate trying to find this butthole. There he is. Okay. There. Ready, ready, ready. Fight! Round two. Fight! Okay. Level five death. Not gonna work. Flurry him. Uh, let's uh, set a phantom rush. He should be almost dead. Yeah, Fang does more damage. Runic, uh, I don't think that's gonna matter because he's gonna aerial. I don't think it's gonna affect Cyan. Nope. Uh, handle it out. another Phantom Rush. Definitely hit Cura. Heal up. Fang, another thousand damage. Alright. See if we can kill him before he runs away again. So I gotta do this the third time. Two shots. Okay. <clears throat> okay, he should be dead. He should be dead. Oh, crap. Set it on auto. Oh, death sellies. That's no bueno. Come on and die. Oh, he's not dead yet. That's amazing. Oh, Cyan for the win. Looks like Death Gazed has gazed into his own fate. <laughs> All right, finally got him. Uh, no, actually we didn't get anything for it. No AP, no magic, nothing. Huh, that sucks. But for defeating him, more importantly, we get... Hey, it's a piece of Magicite. We get the Bahamut Magicite. Oh yeah, I love this Magicite. It's really, 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 really good. Okay. First things first, uh, since nobody knows life, um... Yeah, let's just customize our items back. Phoenix down Sellies, go back to Sellies, use her magic cure, cure everybody up. Alright, let's check out our new fantastic little piece of magicide. Bahamut. First off, HP plus 50 is nice, but more importantly, times two, you learn flare. Yeah, it's really, 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 really nice. And probably you take that over when I'm um use that magic site whenever I level up with Setzer. Try and give us some more HP, but eventually I'll kind of taper off and start using um, Quetzalcoatl because I do want to get some of that lovely, 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 lovely little speed boost from him. But until then, uh, yeah, I do want a better shield on him. All right, let's go check up on Terra, see what she's up to. Now remember, you can get a free um, stay at an inn if you really want to. Uh, let's do a quick save, just in case something really, 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 really bad happens here. Hey, where's that dog going? Hey, what do you guys say? Pregnant, what have you been doing in your time off? I was just talking about parenthood. You better be worried about watching out for that stuff. She doesn't look like she's pregnant. I mean, I thought they at least put a little bun in her Sprite or something like that. Huh. Well, apparently, Dwayne says she was pregnant. I mean, that usually what happens. Oh. Hey, proud papa to be. What's going on, man? Uh, yeah, most fathers do. And as one, yeah, we do tend to like, yeah, hey, what the heck's with? What is it? Oh, humba ba's back. Humba ba, humba ba. First things first, access it, get a high ether, don't care. It's better than nothing, I guess. But let's go for round two against humba ba. Plus, I think it's a little fitting that these were the two demons that were released from Kafka. We're going to take them out at the same time for boss battle two, level 2 against Hoombaba. Round 2, fight! Let's see if we can kill this big green turd. Like last time, Phantom Rush, big damage. He is weak to um, poison, so Bio's going to do a big chunk of damage. He does use a lot of... Um, oh, what the heck? 
Yeah, home ba ba breath. So he blew away the two brothers from fi the two Figaro brothers. Yeah, whenever he takes enough damage, he'll use Humba Ba Breath, blow away two party members. So now, yeah, Mama Mama Bear comes out for boss battle round three against Humba Ba. Let's see if we can put this guy out of his misery. Uh, Flurry. Okay, I don't think she knows. Yeah, she doesn't know. Um. Bio. Okay, you know Bio, though. What you could do to make this fight easier is I also have, if you have Sellies like I have her now, um, yeah. Wow, oh, that actually didn't do that much damage. Man, Terra's behind. I'll have to grind Terra up, too. Oh, he did about 2,000 damage. That's actually not that bad. Bio, wow, almost 5,000 damage. That's not bad at all. Ow, quit it. Yeah, Sellies, I think Sellies gonna hit us with a good cure. Cura. There we go. 2000 with fl uh, Flurry again. He shouldn't last too much longer. I just, man, I just really wish I had took Terra up and learned how to learn Bio. Definitely will do that in my next Let's Play. I mean, Fire is doing some pretty good damage, so. He shouldn't last that long. This isn't really a difficult fight. Uh, let's him another Bio. Solar Plexus. Okay, let's see. 2k damage. Thundara's heals. Oh, Thunder Shield's so good. In this fight, it's so good. Ow! A little bit of damage. Uh, right Alright, yeah, let's, let's just use a Cure spell. I want Terra alive. And he died. Humbaba's gone. Ba humbug, Humbaba. And we get nothing for fighting him. Absolutely nothing. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Well, at least the tariff Humbaba's gone. Ah, what the heck? You don't have to scream every time you do that, Terra. It's kind of unsettling. Not unsettling those great fairies in our of time. Whoa. Not gonna lie, that's the only thing that's really making me con reconsider that le next Let's Play of Orcarina of Time of those dad young great fairies. I hate those things. I hate them. I hate them. Alright, what we got here? Yeah. I mean, even though she's pink and kind of monstrous, yeah, it is Terra. At least she didn't go crazy and blow up the joint. Okay. Oh, so you'll join us. Finally. You've made the right decision. Yeah. So you love these kids. You're like their mama bear. So come on, mama bear. Let's go kick Ke Kefka's butt. So wait up, you're going to trust a bunch of kids and a couple of, um, I guess Katerin Kater and Duane are maybe, I don't think they hit their 20s yet. you going to trust them to give birth to a kid? Those children are going to be traumatized. How are they going to know what to do? Oh, I don't get it. I really don't get it. But at least we recruited Terra. So as I said, in between, I'm going to um, grind up some levels, do some Coliseum fighting. But, will you have the gear, the levels, and the time to conquer the next area and find a certain thieving scoundrel? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. This is your ever-lovable host, Shadowblade730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure. Take it easy.